Hey, what's up, VC? I'm back with another video. If you haven't already, check out my last video, Big Goodwill Haul. This is the Half Price Books Haul uh, version of that. It's um, just all the stuff I picked up over the last month or so. Uh, a lot of cool stuff I found, uh, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it, not to make this a long video. I uh, found a bunch of cassettes uh, for 50 to 50 cents to a dollar a piece. Uh, the first one is Conway Twitty, Mr. T. And then we have Southern Comfort. And then the Vaughn Brothers family style. Eric Johnson Tones. It's an Eric Johnson album I didn't have. I have quite a few of his. And then this was interesting to find. It's Edgar Winter, um, Mission Earth. Wasn't sure what this was. It looked kind of weird. Uh, and it, in fact, it is. I did a little research. And actually, this whole album was written by... The words to it were written by Lon, uh, L. Ron Hubbard, who is actually the... Um, founder of the church of scientology so not sure if i'm gonna listen to this i might try to resell it because it, it's like a 10 buck cassette but yeah i'm kind of scared but you know it was just interesting to find that out and then we got joe satriani uh not of this earth and john butcher uh wishes and then keith richards uh talk is cheap and then hank live one of my favorite live albums ever so that was cool to find on cassette. I have it on CD and vinyl already. I need to see if there's an 8-track version so I can have all copies of it. Speaking of 8-tracks, I found quite a few 8-tracks for a quarter a piece, which was a steal. Uh, the first one is uh, Loretta Lynn, I Remember Patsy. It's her tribute to Patsy Cline. She does some great versions of the Patsy songs. And then we have Loretta Lynn, Don't Come Home a Drinkin' with Lovin' on Your Mind. A lot of great songs on there. Then on to some rock. Couldn't believe I found these for a quarter piece. First one is Fleetwood Mac's Mystery to, Mystery to Me. And then Ario Speedwagon High and Fidelity. And we have Nazareth Hair of the Dog. This one's a little beat up, but it still does play great. And then Deep Purple Fireball, which is a great album. So it's cool to find that on 8-track. And then on to some magazines I found for a dollar a piece. This first one is Revolver Magazine from 2016, I guess. Uh, it's the 25 hottest chicks in hard rock. Uh, so knowing me, I had to pick that up. It's got some cool pictures in there. I might actually cut some of these out and frame them up or something. Then I found another Revolver Magazine with Zach Wilde on the cover. It's got an interesting article about him. And then a metal hammer with uh, Metallica on the front cover, dedicated to Metallica, which is pretty cool. And I found some books that were discounted to $2 a piece. The first one is The Rolling Stones, The Story of the World's Greatest Rock and Roll Band. Got a bunch of cool pictures in it. I couldn't believe this was marked down to two bucks. And then the next one's another one that I couldn't believe was two bucks. It is uh, According to the Ro Rolling Stones. It's just a bunch of facts and stuff about them written by the Rolling Stones. Uh, with also some cool pictures in here. So for two bucks, couldn't pass those up. I'm not a huge Rolling Stones fan, but I mean, books like that for two bucks a piece, couldn't pass them up. And then some CDs I found, still sealed. Uh, this first one is John Mayall, Tough. Never heard this album, but I do like John Mayall. So that was $3. And then The Best of Muddy Waters, which is a 50 song set on two CDs for $3. Couldn't pass that up. He some great blues here. If you never listen to Muddy Waters, definitely check them out. And then on to some vinyl. Found some singles for a quarter a piece, which I couldn't pass them up at that price. First one is the Moody Blues Cities, backed with Knights in White Satin. And then the Escape Club Wild Wild West. Wasn't sure what this was. It looked like some rock stuff. I still haven't listened to it, so I don't know. But uh, it was just interesting, and for a quarter, couldn't pass it up. And then we have Starship, It's Not Over Till It's Over, backed with Babylon with the picture sleeve. And then Ronnie Millsap, Lost in the 50s Tonight, backed with, I might have said. And we have Ronnie Millsap, Smoky Mountain Rain, which is my favorite Ronnie Millsap song, and Crystal Fall and Rain. And we have Elvis, There Goes My Everything, and I Really Don't Want to Know. And Aldo Nova, Fantasy, and Under the Gun. It's actually a single I've been looking for for a while. I wish it had the picture sleeve with it, but it was still cool to find. And then Journey, Open Arms, and Little Girl. We have Hank Jr., uh, 
Whiskey Bent and Hellbound backed with OD in Denver. And then two copies of Born to Boogie backed with what it boils down to. And then Cheap Trick Ghost Town backed with Wrong Side of Love with the picture sleeve. And then Phil Collins Against All Odds, which is my favorite Phil Collins song. Uh, and that movie is one of my favorite movies ever. So if you've never listened to the song, I'll leave a link down below. And if you've never seen the movie, uh, definitely check it out. It's a great movie. And then on to the actual vinyl. Found some cool stuff for a dollar. Uh, we got Mary Twistmas. Uh, it's Conway Twitty's Christmas album. For a buck, I couldn't pass it up, me being a Conway fan. And this is in great shape. The record itself is near mint and it has this cool inner sleeve this is on warner brothers and then we have elvin bishop uh juke joint jumping a promo copy with a white label i believe on the capricorn label no it doesn't have a white label but it does say well, not for sale on it uh he's just a great guitarist so i figured i'd pick that up for a dollar then we got eddie money can't hold back and this has the song take me home tonight on it which is my favorite eddie money song and couldn't believe I found this for a dollar. It's Just to Satisfy You by Waylon Jennings. Uh, it is pretty beat up, but it still does play uh, really good. It's got some scratches, but it still plays good, like I said. And then we got Black Oak, Arkansas, Keep the Faith with this cool fold-out cover. And the record itself is in pretty good shape. And then I found Elvis, Girls, 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 pretty beat up condition, but it was a dollar. And the record itself is in decent shape and it's one i didn't have in my collection so figured for a playing copy for a dollar wasn't a bad deal and then i found danny joe brown band um i don't think this is yeah it's just called the danny joe brown band uh, haven't listened to this album yet but he's from molly hatchet if you didn't already know uh, so i figured i'd pick that up for 2.99 that i got that for on epic and I found Hank Williams Jr. High Notes, an album I didn't have for $5.99. This is also in great shape on Elektra. And then this is an album I've been looking for for a while. It is Axe Nemesis. Uh, they're a southern rock band. Uh, kind of like Blackfoot I'd compare them to, but this is a great album. Uh, I'll leave a link to some of the songs down below because this isn't a really well-known band and this was $4.99. So that was cool to find. And another one I've been looking for for a while, Rainbow, Dif uh, Rainbow Difficult to Cure. First album to feature Joe Lynn Turner on vocals. Uh, this was actually $10, which is a little more than I'd usually pay for used records, but it's just something I've been looking for for a while and didn't want to go through the hassle of buying it on eBay when it was right there. And it's in great shape on Polydor. And then the last one, this was also a dollar record, but the reason this is the last one is it was my best find of the all my half price book stuff. It's in really beat up shape. It is Elvis's second album, just titled Elvis. As you can see, all the edges are taped. Uh, they're completely torn. This corner is mangled. But the reason I kept this for last is because even though it's in this shape and the record is pretty scratched up, it still does play. Uh, really fine. It doesn't even skip or have any pops or anything, which I was really surprised. None of these scratches are deep enough to make any noise. Uh, but this looks a little different than the U.S. version because it is a German mono pressing from 1963. And even in this condition, it's still like a $40 or $50 album. I looked on Discogs and there's one on there that is the covers like poor and the record itself is a good plus and the guy's asking like 50 bucks for it. And it's sold for around that for copies in similar condition. So for a dollar, that was definitely my find of all the Goodwill or the half price books trips. Uh, so definitely happy to have that in my collection. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon.